well. Louis, what brings you back to my chambers? May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you feel good? Yes, but if I'm gonna pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing, don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, Your Eminence. I wanted to thank you for your help. I mean, for your time talking to me about the Holy Lance. Oh, and did you find it? It's the crusade of a lifetime for some people. You are searching for another Holy Grail. You're nearly there. Link into his thoughts. Does it annoy you at all? But what on earth is he trying to get at? Why do you ask, Louis? I don't follow. For the glory, Your Eminence. I can feel it coming. It's working. What? Insolence? Why? Really? I am a man of the church, Louis. May God keep me from such ambition. Right. Let me in, Your Eminence. Why? <gasps> I've done it. I've done it, damn it. He was right. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at yourself, Louis. Better not get caught. Whoa. I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. Well, it's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. Latin, it blooms in the house of God. This seal is different to the one Piaggi used for the letter he gave me. Yes, I'm certain of it. Justizia, misericordia e umulta. I think it's in Italian. Justice, Mercy and humility. Piaggi once gave me a sealed letter. It had the same seal on it. I remember now. A circle with a cross inside. Now, I distinctly remember this seal that Piaggi used on the letter he gave me. This isn't the same stamp. Justizia, misericordia e umulta. Boy, I gotta brush up my foreign languages. Right. Well, let's start writing. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. It turns out, now that I'm here, that I find Lord Mortimer's projects grant us many more advantages in comparison to what Sir Gregory had suggested. We are talking about the future of the Holy See. Hmm, there. That should be enough to justify the change of vote.
there's a kind of code composed of six letters that they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaget's tattoo. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now, ideally, it'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today, the date is 2401-1793. In the letters from the Pope, there are six letters just below the date, two just below the month, four others below the year. Piaget's tattoo, it must be used to establish a connection between the letter of the concentric circle and the number shown in the middle. Some figures are the same in both codes, yet they correspond to different letters. The day is not translated. That must be the key to the code. Today the date is 2401-1793. 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 Today is the 2401-1793. Your Eminence. All ready to send. What's he doing here? Damn it. That's all I need. Don't worry. He can't hear us. What do you mean he can't hear us? What's going on here, Piaggi? Calm down now. Monsieur de Richet came to see me because he was having anxiety attacks and wanted something to help him relax. I'm afraid I've been a little heavy handed. Uh, you can say that again. I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is, and there he stays. <laughs> the perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Can you keep a secret? Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? Ah, oh, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust the little runt because he is Mortimer's son. Would you believe it? How does he know? Dear God, how is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. This is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? Committing a crime in my room is out of the question. Think, it will all be on our heads. No doubt about it. I, I refuse to run the risk. Right. Monsieur Von Von, I always act in the best interest of all. I assure you. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it. You can't attack him without running the risk of jeopardizing the conference. Even though Sir Gregory has the edge? No. Gregory will never forgive you. Very well, Piaggi, you win. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time for me to get back into my body. Right. Don't just stand there, Louis. Mortimer's waiting for you in the Red Salon. <laughs>